Welcome to my... Hey guys, Minty here. As some of you may know, I've spent a while in December renovating my room. So this is the video, three tips if you want to create a new space for yourself. And no, it doesn't have to be expensive. Everything I mentioned will be linked below. So first up here, decide on the color of the room. Color matters a lot. A different color changes the entire mood of the room. I love the blue and white that I had previously, but I love my dark mode. So I went gray, all gray on every single wall. <laughs> and guess what? The paint was pretty affordable, about 70 bucks for the entire room. You can paint the room yourself, save some money, but I hired professionals. It's quicker that way. It was a five day job because the old paint on my wall was peeling and we had to apply sealant before painting and that took extra time. It usually takes about two days for a simple paint job, but it also depends on the size of your room. And all the warning about the color being too dark, making the room look smaller, psh, nah, at least I don't feel it. <laughs> I love this gray. It gives me a very clean, very modern look. And the next tip, Rethink your space. Getting rid of items that you don't use, recycle it, sell it, give them away. When you have to shift all your furniture to paint your room, you really have the freedom to redecorate and do whatever you want. So think out of the box, go crazy. It really helps to sketch out the room and have all the measurements written here because I'm not really great at imagining how much space a furniture would take up. Previously, the bed was right next to the door and it made my room feel pretty cramped and the fan was right in the middle of the walking path, giving me quite a bit of bruises. So I shifted my bed all the way to the window just so that the moment I enter the room, I have the luxury to walk around and see the entire space and honestly, this feels much bigger. And I have way more angles to film at, like the sit-stand desk. <laughs> the unboxing stuff here or here or here if i want you close to me <laughs> i definitely enjoy the setup way more just because i don't have to spend time clearing my desk each time i want to film i've got another desk for that and if we just turn the camera we're back here <laughs> too close so to fit this into this space, I got rid of my old cupboard, the one I usually have in the background of my videos. So all the things from that actually went into this new drawer that I got from Ikea. It wasn't easy storing everything in here, but I had to think minimalist and keeping only the essentials and giving away or throwing away items that I don't ever touch or don't use. But I have to say, getting rid of things is never easy. <laughs> I also got these pegboards to display stuff and to put practical items like my router. Definitely need to do some cable management here, but everything mentioned will be linked in the description below. Oh, and one tip, whenever you can, get things on wheels. It'll make life so much easier. Both my drawers are on wheels and it saves me a ton of time whenever I need to move them around. And finally, lighting. One of the most important things when you're working with cameras. Yes, I used to sit here, film here, and use this window as my main source of light. But with this, I'm always affected whenever it rains and I can only film in the day. So as much as I love this natural light, I did not want to rely on it. So I needed to get a bigger, better light. And if you can't really tell, I'm using this really powerful light to power this shot. And without it, it's going to look like this. Or this! The Aperture 120D is the light that I chose to get the job done. This light is great for everything. For product shots, or for a dramatic shot when the room is completely dark, or for shooting against harsh daylights like this. Of course, there are more affordable options and I'll link all of them below, but the 120D stands out because of its variable brightness setting. 1% brightness is different from 10%, 10% is different from 20, 20 is different from 30, I mean, you get the point. And for such a powerful light, the fans are insanely quiet, so when you're filming, you don't have to worry about the additional background noise. It's really my favorite light. But yeah, here are all the tips. A little planning, a fresh coat of paint, and some reorganizing can make a lot of difference. And I hope this helps some of you guys to create your own new space. And if it did, send me some pictures of your setup, cause I wanna stalk you. 
<laughs> joking. Happy New Year! And if you're new here, subscribe. It really does help the channel. And as usual, stay minty and cherry. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>